Today we're doing the convoy scene. Big gunfight, lots of shooting, mongrels dying. So it's gonna be a full day. It's on. Initially, Carlton said to me, oh, we're gonna do a train chase. And I said, no. We said, okay, what about a, you know, a tractor trailer chase? It's a fast moving convoy and we have to ambush it. It starts with Quinlan bringing down the main truck. At the last minute, pull my sword out. And slash the wheels, the tires of the car that then went behind me and did like a 360 spin. I had to get that lined up so that they could see it through my arm as I'm putting the sword back, back in. But it was quite a rush having a car going by when you're down on your knees, cutting its tires. Then the big truck comes at him. He lays down on the road, and he does the old Indiana Jones climbing underneath the carriage, climbing up the back onto the top. Two stunt guys on top of a moving 18-wheeler doing the stunts, you know, with a drone and everything, and that was pretty crazy. And then on top of a static uh, truck in the studio, Rupert and the stunt guy against green screen with plates that we're gonna comp in. It's gonna be a pretty spectacular sequence. On the day when they were filming outside and the truck was moving, there's a whole cable system up there to keep them safe from falling off. In here, we wanna be free of that system and they're free to do their fight, not tied in, uh, and the way it's supposed to look. We've shot it in a way that's very disparate and broken up and with stuntmen doing some of it, me doing some of it. And the stunt guy I have is fabulous. And because of the makeup, we can, we can switch out quite a lot, which is very handy. I like to do as much of it as possible when it's certainly if you can see my face, because there's, there's a performance level to it as well, which an actor likes to bring. It's nice to combine the two. 